Watch his back. Let's get down, back let's get again. Down. You got it. Will starts back. Make sure you tell your friends. Back here to Afar. Let's get to it. It's been too long. All right, here we are back at OFR, and we have a big closet going on today. Wait, wait, wait. They're videoing? Okay, let's start with this. Go ahead. Wait. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and so as you can see, there's water in a pit. We've been digging up this drainage pipe because we have a problem. So we exposed it, finding out where our leak is. I believe it's right here, about four foot down. There's a 90 there, you said, Rich? Yeah. Once, yeah, once we expose it, we'll show you what's going on here. But out of the blue, it just started leaking. You can see it away. You can see it's dry on both sides, and then it's wet down the center. Yeah, you guys there can see how that goes water through. coming from somewhere, and we couldn't figure it out. It looks like kind of like a natural little stream now, though. To be honest with you. Yeah, well, that's our natural yeah. pond paver patio we're putting yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we got to make sure to get that taken care of, and that's what the plan is today. And what's your name? You right there. Look exactly. how full that, that is with water. Yeah, you see that? It's pretty full there. So we are getting it done today. Digging, digging, digging. We'll show you the work when we get done. Oh, by the way, this video is taken by Will Star. Now, a lot of you might not remember him. He was the guy that came out and you know started taking videos. You know, you don't remember his name. You know, it's been so long. Who is that guy? <laughs> Glad to be back, fellas. Glad to be back. <laughs> All right, so we dug down a little bit deeper and came up upon something else. What's going on here, Josh? Well, this is the old drainage pipe from where the uh, addition was no longer there yeah. before it was built. And I think it's underneath the slab and it's cracked. So, but I'm hoping it cracked right at this T where this pipe came in. Okay. That would be the best case scenario right now. If not, it's underneath the slab and we're gonna have to cut it, abandon it, and dig a new trench. Mm, that sounds like a lot of work. Yep. All right, well, let's get to it, see what we gotta do. All right, so we're using the pickaxe out here, huh, Josh? Yeah. Or the pry bar? What, I mean, we're, we're, why, why is that? Dude, these big heavy tools coming this out. This pipe is surrounded in concrete. Concrete, yeah. So <laughs> as you see, it goes down through there. Let me get the side over here and it comes off of that pipe and goes down over there. And this pipe joins it. So we're gonna see what we can do. See, the problem is you can't go swinging too hard because you miss, you go, go through that pipe. Yeah. And you kind of mess it up even more. Right. So we're thinking, well, Josh had a good idea of maybe taking that cap off and trying to get down through there and see where the leak is. And maybe you could patch it from the inside, but I don't know. That, that, that wouldn't work, work. No. no. All that's gonna do is possibly find it. I'm gonna need some safety glasses. Yeah, and <laughs> some OSHA approved footwear. No, that's no worries. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, we need some uh, goggles for that, man. Don't want any concrete chips flying into the eyes. Let's get it. Josh, what you got in your hand right there, bud? Earthworms. Earthworms? Gotta feed the stingrays. Gonna feed the stingrays. They like the earthworms a lot? Oh, they love them. They love them, huh? Oh, they're hung up on the thing at the moment. Look at that, they already got one. There they go. Does the uh, tarpon like them also or not really? Nope, just the stingrays. Just the stingrays? He's, oh, he's already eaten one, huh? That's why he's not getting the other ones. Oh, there he goes. You he got, got it. He's gonna eat them wow. all. That, little... That's who I'm trying to fatten up because she's the smallest one in there. Well, okay. besides the, the baby over here, but he's nice and fat. Okay. She, she was skinny. She got sick, we cured her. Yeah. Now earthworms, they love earthworms. Love them. I'll have to remember that. I didn't know that we could feed those to them. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not coming from like a field and have pesticides and sure, stuff. Sure, sure. As long as it's natural and they're, they're clean, you can feed them all day long. Yeah, I used to go up to Walmart and buy the three dot dollar tub with 30 earthworms and just toss them in here. And okay. Meat. We got one more girl. Better yeah. Hurry up and get it. Big girl's gonna get it. There, it's too late. Oh. As soon as her disc touches it, it's game over. This guy's like, what about me? He's oh, like, she missed it. Yes, he did. It's just laying over there. They're searching, I don't know. Sooner or later, one of them get it. Do you think they're looking at us right now to feed them more? Do you think that's why they're gathered up right there? Or do you think it's just something they're smelling? They, they smell it in the water. Yeah, yeah. 
Behind you. <laughs> Oh, you can get it. A little to your left. There, uh oh. There we go. There we go. Oh, getting the third one. Who's going to get to it first, though? Oh, you missed it. I don't know. They, they can't find it. Here, I think she's going to turn around on it, maybe. No. Well, I guess they're just, they might save her for later or something, huh? No, it's going to go now. It's going to go now? She's coming back. There she comes. Just me, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wah, wah. Come on, man. You can do it, Come baby. On. We'll tip your left. <laughs> this one's going to go get it. That one's going to go get it. Oh, maybe it's going to be that one. Yeah, uh oh. She's, it. she's, she's zooming in on it. Yeah, there it is. It's over. She's like, mm mm, mm, -hmm. mm good. Let's see if we can find some more. Nice. All right, so here we go with our buddy. I haven't seen him in a while, and you see that scab is healing up a lot, Josh. You guys have done a great job with that, and I'll go ahead and put a side-by-side -side with this video. You got to see the day we picked him up, how much better that scab is looking. You guys have done a great job with that, Josh. What is the medication you use? Uh, we were using uh, bet the Betadine solution, yeah. but you guys see... The two little new wounds, they're, they're, they're not bad. Yeah. But you can see them right there. That was from the puckos we put put in here, and they were sucking up on the shell. Wow. So we got them out, and now he's healing back up from that. Why would they do that? That doesn't make a lot. Don't because know. it was maybe a little algae or something? Could be. I, okay. I, I don't know. Man. Okay. I'm explaining I'm not a fish. <laughs> he's just, a, a fish. just the ultimate fish keeper. That's yeah. all. <laughs> all right, so here we are back at the OFR koi pond you see these beautiful koi out there wow the weather is nice they're coming out you see the grass is growing in the filter there it's beautiful stuff around here since i've been here and look we got our boy diesel what up buddy how you been man you miss me did you miss me boy i missed you too yeah he's a good boy he's a good boy isn't he big old diesel you haven't got much bigger though have you i guess this is about as big as you're gonna get huh He's a good boy though, aren't you? Yeah, I know I missed you too, man. I missed you too. All right, so yeah, look at all the koi over here. Out swimming around, not hiding anymore. Beautiful stuff. Got the waterfall coming down. Man, just to wait until the spring hits really hard and the summer comes and all this is greened up out here. It's gonna be amazing. You guys can see those spring flowers over there already. Where are they at, right there? In the other yard, those daffodils. Daffodils are coming out. Man, this is my favorite time of year right here. Springtime when everything's coming back to life. All the greenage and the trees are coming back. Love it. Plus, you know, my birthday is April 12th. So it's my favorite time of year because of that also. Look at that brilliant orange koi right there. Man. Tell you what, can't wait to go swimming in this later on this summer. That is for sure. Sorry it's been so long I've, since I made a video, guys. As you guys probably know, you know what I've been going through. It's not all the way over, but you know, I got some more procedures coming up. So hopefully that'll rectify the situation. Cause I sure do miss being here. I sure do miss the guys. I sure do miss all you guys. And I sure do miss being around all this beautiful scenery and these fish. I've been making some Bigfoot videos on my channel because I've been so bored sitting at home. You know, I had to do something, but there's nothing like being out of the house, going places and doing stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Let's get to something else. Here we back. All right, so here we are, back with Josh. Josh, what do we got going on in this tank right here? What are we doing? Yeah, well, our main man, Willstar, brought us this big piece of lace rock. Yeah. So we are going to add it to the salt setup once we have enough lace rock. Nice. And this tank is good, good to go. Then we might fill it with water. Um, but until then, we're just going to keep waiting and being patient because that's the most... Uh, Virtuous thing a fish keeper can have is being patient. Make sure you have the set that up ready and complete before getting the fish. So that's what we preach. So that's what we're going to practice here. So we're gonna add this in and uh, it'll be that much closer. Nice. It's gonna take up a lot of space in there. Is that gonna fit right now? If it fits. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna fit. We might have to Bust chisel, it chisel a little piece off here or there, make it fit. Maybe like right here on this corner. I don't know. Let's try this. Let's way. try it long ways. You can always cut the tank open bigger. <laughs> Just to save the rock, huh? Yeah. So what kind of fish do you guys plan on putting in here eventually, Josh? I know salt water, but did you guys come up with a list? A lot of crustaceans. Yeah, like so shrimp and things like that. Let's go bust this up. Okay, we'll be back with you. All right, so we're going to do this the He-Man way, the Caveman way. Got to get that rock into smaller pieces. We thought we would do it the fun way. Here we go. Ah, there it is, son. I bet you those fit. Now, don't you think? Going to do it again? Ooh. Taking out some aggression there, are you? <laughs> that one might fit. <laughs> we shall go find out. We shall find out. We'll be there in a second. All right, there we go. All right, the rock wouldn't fit as a whole. Do you think it's going to fit busted in half? I believe so. What you, okay. <laughs> I believe Wait, we got it. We're taking bets here. <laughs> Leave the comments down below. Is it going to fit or not? Uh, oh. <laughs> we can squeeze it in there. There we go. We know how to squeeze things into things. We got this. That one, a little bit more thick on top. Some might call her saucy. <laughs> saucy. <laughs> Still a little too thick. We're trying different angles yeah, here. Yeah, we are. Take off this little piece right here, maybe. A little, little piece, piece in the back. Yep. This little, little nub sticking out. Yeah. And this nub right here sticking out. All right, so we got it in there finally, as you guys can see. Josh did his magic. There now he's go. doing his hardscaping in there, at least the, you know, precursory hardscaping. Usually, sometimes it takes people a few days to get it the way they like to, how it to look with the hardscaping. Yeah, well, you know, with us here, one and done. One and done, huh? One and done. No sitting it there for a half an hour, an hour, coming back like, let me move that piece around. <laughs> Just gotta find the right pieces that fit. Yep. Gotta stack it all up nice and neatly. This is gonna look very beautiful with those salt water going on in there. A lot of shrimp, you said, things like that. Yeah, crustaceans. Maybe Stuff something. that won't get big. Yeah. Peeling to the eyes, you know. Sure. Maybe a couple of neat Nemo's in there or something like that. Live corals. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful, that's for sure. Something different, you know, something different. All the fresh water here, now I'll have a little salt water, a little tiny little section over here. Something different and refreshing to look at. We got all the monsters, as you know, you guys know about, but it's going to be something to see the different colors for yeah. the salt water. I'd say that looks pretty good. I do too. Let's put this lid back down. There we go. Some more lace rocking. All right, so here I am back at OFR, where I love to be. It's been a while, as you guys know. Day of migraines killing me. But I'm gonna show you all the new changes from my perspective here at OFR. There's been a lot. A lot of new things have been going on around here. It's been a couple months since I've been here. So let me take you on the tour. Let me show you what it's all about. All right, we, we can't start a video without showing the African cichlids, right? Beautiful tank. Beautiful, stunning. It's always like a, uh, a living portrait to me, like a living, beautiful painting. It just, you know, moves all around. Beautiful stuff. And I see that uh, someone donated a skirt down here on the bottom to cover up the things that were underneath the tank. That was awfully nice of them. Come over here and check out the Abba Abba doing her thing, or his thing. been a while since I've seen a lot of these fishes. So I'll take them on a quick tour. I mean, I know you guys see the fish a lot in the other videos, but it's been a while since I've been here. So I'll give you my perspective also. And also stay tuned because there's going to be some more parody uh, videos coming out. I have one plan where I'm gonna get all three of them. I'm gonna get Reaper, Big Rich, and Josh. 
I'm probably not gonna dress up. I'm probably just gonna use from behind the camera type stuff, you know, trying to imitate their voices and their laughs and things that they say and some funny moments. So you guys stick with that one. Rich did a wonderful job with that uh, one on Reaper and I can't wait to see Reaper's response. So Reaper's been practicing and getting everything together. So you guys stay tuned for that one. And while I'm talking about Reaper, hey man, I just gotta give Reaper all the credit in the world. Dude's a legend and he's been doing a wonderful job. So let's check out his girl, Lavaca. Hey Lavaca, she's like, who are you? You're not a Reaper. I can't talk to you, you're not a stranger. You remember me, Lavaca? Hi, girly. Hi, beautiful. How you doing, Saucy? You doing good today, Saucy? It's been a while. It's been a while. You still got that beautiful smile, though, don't you? So there's Lavaca. Oh, that's a nice little sign right there they got. First time I saw that. We got the eel back here. Wow, this planted tank, though, it's definitely showing a lot of improvements since I've been here. Well, a lot of growth. I mean, the plants in here doing really good. Obviously, the fish always do good here at OFR. But I'll tell you what, this planted tank is looking nice. Wow, that red tail is getting big. Both of them are. Look at that guy back there. He's, whoo, he's really big, son. Take that and wind it back. And we got the dolphin fish right here doing his thing. Man, these stingrays are, huh, they look a little bit bigger than I remember. Believe it or not. That one right there, that looks huge. I don't see the bass in here at the moment, unless it's up underneath there maybe. Maybe they moved it into the uh, pool pond already, or somewhere else, so I'll have to check that out. All right, let's move on over to the thousand. The thousand looking beautiful as always. The fire eels in it, doing their thing. Looks like uh, some of the fish in here tearing up the decorations, maybe. Got this karami coming up here. Got the arowana, the Oscar. We got the fire eels, the flag tail. I think that's a tigrinus catfish up underneath there, right there, the striped one. I don't remember all the fish, it's been so while, bear with me, but trying to do my best for everybody out there. And the 4400, look at this bad boy. Man, this thing is always stunning, isn't it? Good Lord, look at that arowana, huge. Oh, there's the lynx cat. I always like that lynx cat, man. The way he just cruises around like a shark. They think they're going to get fed, but I'm not going to feed them. Beautiful fish, beautiful take. And we got the reaper chair here, I guess. I guess I can hang out in the reaper chair for a second. Check it out. Give you guys a view of the 4400 here for maybe 30 seconds or a minute until we move on to the next tank. Man, I miss being around here. They've done a lot of work. You know Josh and Rich and the crew, they never stop. All the volunteers, wonderful people. Well, we got big, big Betty cruising. She caught me out of the corner of my eye. Caught that out of the corner of my eye. Diesel, what's up, bud? And look who it is. <laughs> what's up, buddy? <laughs> How you doing? Good job. Come here. He's like, he's like, I want to run. Here, sit, sit. Good boy. There Come you on. go. Good, Good job. job. Now you can go do what you want to do. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> so man, this 4400, it's always amazing, Josh. I was telling him how I come over here, and it's just always, always just amazing how big this tank is and how beautiful it is. You guys do such a wonderful Are you job. Are about me or the tank? <laughs> well, I mean, you're still working at it, but this thing over here is pretty huge, man. By the way, you know, you can tell you are working on it. You know, it's been a while since I've seen you, and you can definitely see see some uh, some difference there, son. Appreciate it. So the work is definitely working out. That tarpon, man, I can't wait for that tarpon to get huge. I want to swallow my whole arm. You want him what? To swallow my arm. To swallow your whole arm. Yeah, your whole, whole, like, uh, 
a carcass there, a whole chicken will come up and just swallow your arm. That's wow. What they do in the ocean. That's how they catch them, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, I have a question. Your dad says no. But Schwarzenegger here. Yeah. He's been in this 4400 forever, right? Yeah. My question. He's not going in there. Just for his retirement. Doesn't he deserve some bigger, like, so he can cruise and spend out the right now, last the, years the, of his life? The problem is, you have a fish this big, this old, and this weak. Yeah. You move him out to there, yeah. a bunch of killers. Okay. They're young. They're, okay. They're spry. They think they're alpha. They're going to try and fight him. Okay. Pick on him. Ultimately, he'll probably stress and die. Okay. This is what a lot of people don't realize. Yep. You have a big old fish. He's, you know, in this tank, nobody messes with him. But you right. put him out there with prune sharks and alligator gar and all, all these relatively young fish that are absolutely huge. Yeah. They're going to they're try and take on the, the, the new one. Oh. Well, that's a great point that I never thought about. And there's probably people out there wondering why he's in here. And Josh, Josh right. being the ultimate fish keeper he is, just explained it and broke it down to us. Because I would think that he, uh, you know, might be happier out there in that pool pond, bigger spot for him to live out his life. But as Josh said, it's more about the safety for the fish, you know? So that's a good tip. Hope you guys enjoyed that one from Josh. All right, so we're gonna feed Brutus here today. Whoa, look at that cactus rubbing his belly. Here he comes. And uh, we're gonna try to show you how he looks in slow motion. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night. All right, so that was something else. I'm gonna slow that down in editing. Hopefully that works out. Give him one more if you would, Josh, since he's so close. Hopefully this will turn out really good. Hold on, that light's right there. All right, go ahead. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night, All right, so that should be good footage. That should be good footage. Josh should be able to use that one to slow it down. So everybody, Brutus, slowing down. And slow go. It's gonna be something. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Let's get down to business. <laughs> Alright, so there you guys have it. Another video in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've been back. Man, I'm glad to be back here. Hope you guys aren't too mad at me. Nothing I can do about it. Hopefully it's getting better though. So we're back. Can't promise that I'll be here every day, but it's getting better. Gonna go have a procedure. Um, so hopefully it'll get even better and I can be back here more regularly because I miss my boys and I miss the fish and I miss all you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the next ones because like Reaper's coming out with that parody video of Rich. I'm going to do one of all three of them and we got all kinds of new ideas coming out. I've been sitting at home watching all kinds of YouTube because I have nothing else to do making them damn video, Bigfoot videos on my channel, being bored. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube and I've come up with a lot of ideas. So you guys stay tuned. We got a lot for you coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for us, share the video, leave us some comments, let us know all that good stuff. Until next time, guess what I'm gonna say now? Rich don't like to take that rewind it back so much. So I guess I'll switch it up for him. And I'm gonna say, where there's a will star, there's a boy. Take care, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace.